Now, we have the bacteria, so we will start doing the, the biofertilizer. We put in the bacteria, always put in the bacteria first. Otherwise, if you put water in there, you, you'll splash your face. <laughs> <laughs> and in that so pleasant. I mean. <laughs> and when you do it, always then somewhere else. Yeah? Don't look at, it won't make any difference. It'll fall any, anyway. <laughs> so look at somewhere else. So in case something splashes, you don't get it on your eyes, especially in your eyes. So put in the bacteria. Touch it. And this is not exactly fresh, 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 but I got some, some of them, like five or seven of them. the big pies were fresh. <laughs> that should be enough to just a little bit that much. To get it going, no? Now we need energy for them. And we need a starter. This is like an engine, it wants to start. The best thing to start it, Ken was telling me they use um, Malta, malt. You know malt? When you, when you make your beer, save that mouth <coughs> to make this, to start this. You know cars, they need a starter engine. Yeah, to start the engine, you need a starter. Well, yeast is the starter. Uh, in this case, I'm using dry yeast as a starter. It would be best to use brewer's yeast. Yeah, it would be better. But we have this, so we would use this. Always mix. Oh, I'll use 100 grams, 200 grams. Oh. I'll use the whole pile. Oh, <laughs> it has these things. So I'll use some of them. So just use a couple of them. 100 grams will do. Should be alright. And what I do is I mix the yeast, <coughs> molasses, and the milk together. So all the lovely things, all the love for the bacteria. So what we want is a bucket, which we have here. Here we we'll put, where is the milk? <coughs> if you're using a malt, that's got enough yeast in it, the malt itself, or you put yeast as well as the malt? No, we put yeast. No, no, no. If you use malt, you won't need any yeast yeah, at all. Yeah, That'll do. So, here is the milk. You can use milk, or you can use two liters of milk, or you can use whey. That would be better. Milk contains 5% fat, and that fat, when in a drum, it will decompose anaerobically, and then you <laughs> get this smell, which is not so nice of it. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. So if you, if you want to make whey out of your milk, just put a little bit of vinegar, apple vinegar, and then it'll curd it. So you get the curd, you eat the cheese, and you use the way for the biofertilizer. And then you can use, I mean, make better use of this. Now we, we're just using milk, yeah? So yogurt, what about yogurt? Wrong bacteria? Yeah, you can use yogurt, no problem. No, no, it's not the wrong bacteria. It's easy, fine. Any lactobacteria will do. So I'll mix the lot. If you don't mix this, this is very difficult to mix in there. So it's better, I, I like it, I like to mix it. And farmers love it because the smell of it is really nice. It's, it's like making bread, pretty much. And then you put some of your energy in it as well. Oh, that's 96 grams in total, so you might want to... 96? Oh, then 300. Yeah, it's 7 gram sachets, generally. These are 7 grams, no? Right. Generally. So you got to the mole. Now the whole pile. Yes, you might oh. have to use the whole pile. Right? Yeah. Oh well. I'll leave some for the next one. Otherwise, right, so we, we won't have bread tomorrow. We don't have any cakes. It's got to open them all up. So I'll leave some of the things in there. In the packet. Sorry. I was seeing if you wanted help opening them up. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Nearly done. And then we want, these are about, how much is that? Four kilos of molasses, right? We want two kilos of molasses, more or less. So, where did you get the molasses from? Stock, stock taste. Yeah, local stock taste in place. This is what I call diluted molasses. This is 
already, they're cheating you already. They put in water in it. <laughs> this is not the real melassa stuff. You can see it's very liquid. You can see how liquid it is. So this is not... That's stock feed nice. Yeah. You get the black strap molasses from the mill. You can get it in 44 gallon drums and uh, how much is it a 44? Yeah. It's about 120 bucks or something. So yeah, it goes a fair way when you've got a 44. <coughs> Can you use honey rather than molasses? Oh, you can, but what a crazy thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, how much it will cost you? We use molasses in Mexico because molasses in Mexico, will, they'll cost you 30 cents a kilo. 30 cents. I mean, this is not much money, right? You could use sugar, and that's why sugar is here. You, if you have no molasses, you can also use sugar, or you can use fruit with high content in sugar also, no problem. You need some some form of uh, fructosa, lactosa, su any sugar, energy. What we want is energy. This is like making a party. So <laughs> this is the energy of the party, no? Like the beer, no beer. Oh. <laughs> I just found out that Darren's latest Leatherman is really sharp. <laughs> I just put it oh right, I went ouch. Yeah. Oh no. The yeah, melasses, melasses are uh, antiseptic, so the moment ah. you put it in, oh, it's good. No, it's, <laughs> it's coated. Yeah. <laughs> so in Europe, I don't know where the molasses comes from. It may well just come from oh, sugar cane, but yeah, it, it also used to come from sugar beet production yeah, and all of yeah. that as well. So, yeah. so, you know, in the future, if molasses, you know, with oil and la la la, if things start mm, to get a bit tight, then you'll still have, you'll still have. Um, Molasses from it's good sugar beet. Thing, yeah? right. How's the molasses? Um, did you know? Oh, I've always had stuff from the US. Um, in our factory in Austria, we import from Brazil and from Australia shiploads of sugar beet. Oh, wow. okay. So the question was how is molasses made? How is molasses made? You might molasses describe that just best. A, it's just an offcut from the production of sugar. Yeah. It's 49% sugar, in fact. Yeah. So when they when they cut the sugar cane, they take it there, they refine it by crush it, crushing it, they crush it, boil, boil it, it, and, and, and reduce bits, it. The dirty bits are molasses. So all the mineral, all of all the, the goodness out all of the sugar the good. is in the molasses. <laughs> yeah. All the sugar. We feed it to the, the, the wheat <laughs> We feed it to the stock and we eat the shit. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. So the the, better, the, the whiter your sugar is, <laughs> yeah. the worse it is. Molasses is like the Vegemite of the states. Yeah. yeah. No. Yeah, it's great stuff. I love it. That animal, it says it's for animal consumption. I don't know where, where they, what they mean by that. I consider myself an animal, so I just <laughs> still eat it out of a 44. <laughs> now, we had a... It's great on porridge. Oh, yeah, yeah. We had an interesting experience at, uh, at Ben's place. It was so cold, so cold, that... If we, if we would have made the biofertilizer, it wouldn't have worked because water was frozen, nearly frozen. So it would have never started. So what we didn't have to do there was boil the water to, to make biofertilizer, bring it up to 30 degrees, and then when you it will cool down, put it in the shed and cover it with blankets because it was so cold, it wouldn't have worked. So make sure your water is more or less 20, 25, whatever. This is a nice temperature here, should, you should have no problem. It doesn't matter after it's made, it'll make its own energy. But before, it won't start. So once you have the goodies for the bacteria, this is the beer, this is the music, this is the girls, this is the whole party set for the bacteria to go happy. Yeah. So you spray the love on them, now no they, they can start. breathe, yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> 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 the pumpkin Crump off. Get straight to a beast. Yeah. I won't go that far.